on my back. I'm Calvin. Rick. He's Rick. And we're gonna watch Game of Thrones. That's Yamcha. <laughs> I'll point it out. And these are performance enhancing drugs, which you shouldn't use. Exactly. <laughs> Today. And which the Thor vitamins Lessa to recently crush the world. Blue vitamins that that glow bar in the dark. Deadlift. Season five, episode one. Game of Thrones. What happened last episode? I threw my notes. <laughs> the castle was so awesome. <laughs> now you have two pads of notes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Now they've split. <laughs> <laughs> they perform mitosis. <laughs> <laughs> it was because they had so many notes inside of them. There was enough energy to. <clears throat> it was. It was a poof episode. Don't make a line yet. <sighs> I only needed half a page for an hour long. <laughs> the world is much different than it was two episodes ago. That is true. L less dance in it. There is sadly less dance. What's tragic? Charles dance. <laughs> oh, I <Tyler>. like. <laughs> this is not Footloose. <laughs> But isn't it? Isn't every movie really footloose? <laughs> Deep down, they're all no. trying to get back. Jon Snow's the Kevin Bacon. No. So all right. <laughs> <laughs> A lot happened last episode. Yes, indeed it did. Yes. Uh. Tell me a little bit about it, because uh, like well. the audience, I might not have been here. Arya didn't kill the hound. But she went off to Bravos to go fulfill her destiny of being amazing and killing people without no a name. Nowhere was safe in, in Westeros, so she didn't go to Westeros. Nowhere was safe in Westeros for Tyrion or Varys either after Tyrion killed his father mm -hmm. and his lover. Mm -hmm. And now. And his, his father's lover. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. Mm hmm. True enough, true enough. True enough. Stannis saved the day, kind of. Stannis I mean, is the manis. Stannis is the manis. It's just, it's true. It's it's stupid sounding, it but no less true. It's extremely stupid. But no less true. So now he has... The fact that it sounds stupid makes it more true. It's true. That sounds stupid. It's like I before E except after C. But it's true. Except in weird. And in... Eight. And E before <laughs> N in chicken. <laughs> From Andy Griffith. English. There was a lot of Valerian last episode without subtitles. Yes, yeah. there was. <laughs> but you, we got the gist of it. You knew the gist of sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Babies eaten by dragons. Yep. Very sad. And that one guy who's like, I, I can speak the common going. tongue. <laughs> Joe Jen also dead. Very sad. Yep. And they met the Three-Eyed Raven. They did. Who is a creepy old man. Mm-hmm. Which... Who's who been watching a, little boys for the entire Who else would you lives? expect yeah, to watch little boys through the twigs of trees with a thousand and one eyes? That's a... Uh... The <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Start the episode. So which death would you want the least of all the ones that happened so far? I like how they killed the Hound, yeah. but I was really enjoying his redemption story. Yeah. Because now Arya is definitely on the path to being a full-blown assassin. She has the hairstyle of... This feels like a flashback. She has the hairstyle of Cersei, and she's in red. Tell me mine. Everyone wants to know their future. Go fuck your brother. <laughs> Do I know their future? This is my father's land. Will the king and I have children? No. The king will have 20 children. But you will have three. Well, that doesn't make sense. Gold will be their crowns. Gold. Their shrouds. Come on, we have to go. <laughs> we have to go. Cersei! Spot on. Mm. She's a hired her. Gold will be their shrouds. 
Does that mean Tommen and... Oh, that's right. No weddings and a funeral. <laughs> a little awkward going to funerals together now, is it? You know, what did you do? Three maybe a monster, but at least he killed our father on purpose. He <laughs> killed him by mistake. The stupidity. You're a man of action, aren't you? Whether to curse you to do something, you do it. Never mind the consequences. Look at the consequences. Here they are. He loved you more than anyone in this world. You're trying to guilt trip him with Ty Tywin's death? I don't think... <clears throat> <laughs> Looks a bit shocked. <laughs> Those aren't stones. <laughs> Kill trip is all she knows, really. <laughs> yeah. This is Tyrion. Yep. It's Varys. <clears throat> Look at that beard. Covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> is that a, uh, and Tyrion isn't so good either? <laughs> Do you know what it's like? Stuff your shit through one of those levels? <laughs> no. I only know what it's like to pick up your shit and throw it overboard. <laughs> Keep trying till it works. Uh, whoever built that roof deserves a raise. It is. Oh! I bet they have that as a ride at the Game of Thrones world. She should have had the dragons do that. Maybe he just, he just likes to, playing pranks on them. Yeah, to freak them out. <laughs> just a massage. Oh. Mm. Falling apart without Jorah. <laughs> he was the lynch. Get your shield up. It's too heavy. It wasn't heavy. No one fights with shields. Jon Snow. <laughs> Don't try and fool me. We're five seasons in. That one hates me. He hates everyone. Yeah. It's fine. You're not special. He hates the Mark All the Mark don't let oh, cover his feet. Cool. We've decided to strengthen the wall with fire. <laughs> Hear me out. You're not cold, lady. Never. <laughs> I'm just melted. Many of them love you. They're good men. Many don't. They're bad men. the body of a wild man, girl. Not of the war. I didn't want Stannis to you use my idea. It's marching your off. They swear to follow me, I'll pardon them. We'll take Winterfell once the North is won. I'll declare them citizens of the realm. I'll give them land to live on. It's a fair offer. More than fair. I'll offer them their lives and their freedom. If man kneels before me and swears his loyalty. Uh, I think that's likely. He's still young. He's 13. Who is going to war at 13? He has other gifts. Does he? <laughs> a gift of a great name. Sometimes, that's all one needs. Uh, I make no promises. <laughs> He's really good at that. That's great. <clears throat> Where would I go? I don't care. I'm not your mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who would give me this bowl cut? <laughs> <laughs> to a land where you trust everyone. <laughs> to a land so far from here. Even Cersei Lannister can't get her hands on you. Deep, <clears throat> deep shock to us all. <laughs> Your father was a, a force to be reckoned with. He truly was. They call themselves sparrows. Bloody fanatics. Uh -oh. Religion has its place, of course, at a certain point. They never would have come to the capital when Tywin was alive. 
tempted you into our unnatural relations. Oh, honey. <laughs> that was the king. It's Bohan. He's one. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you kill him? I'm a different person now. Eunuch Spider, the master of whispers. In. Half man. Oh, he only gets two. There are faster ways to kill yourself. Not for a coward. You are many things, my friend, but not a coward. I shot my own father with a crossbow. <clears throat> On the toilet. said you were perfect. Twice. <laughs> what is it you want, exactly? <clears throat> The land where the powerful do not prey on the powerless. When did you guys turn into John Lennon? Notes filled with blackberry wine. If he starts singing, I'm out of here. Or you can ride with me to Marine, meet Daenerys Targaryen, and decide if the world is worth fighting for. Doesn't matter how small you are if you're riding a dragon. I drink myself to death on the road to Marine. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I was a bad child. I wasn't big, <laughs> but I was quick, and I loved to fight. So they sold me to a man in Tolos who trained fighters for the pits. And there he met Arnold Schwarzenegger. You were sold into slavery, um. forced to fight to the death for the amusement of the masters, and you're defending the fighting pits. <laughs> no one's seen Trifon in weeks. For all I know, he's found halfway across the world. Why do you seek the living among the dead? <laughs> <laughs> Tame them, send them to go find their brother. Mm. Big net, big butterfly net. Easy, easy, easy. To be a little more forceful than that, I think. Yeah. Got bigger. <laughs> what have you been feeding it's them? It's a new season. It always happens. <laughs> new season. Now listen. If you trip. It's not really it's not kneeling. kneeling. <laughs> Here we are. Because none of them have survived the winter, not if they're north of the wall. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? Pride? Fuck my pride. Then bend the knee and save your people. They followed me because they respected me. How will they do it? Beheading? Hanging? They'll burn you alive. Bad way to go. I think you're making a terrible mistake. The freedom to make my own mistakes was all I ever wanted. Who can rescue him? Because this is bad. This isn't the king. Well, maybe he's immune to fire too. This was my home for many years. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. Free folk! There is only one true king, and his name is Stannis. Here stands your king of lies. Behold the fate of those who choose the darkness. Since such a good man has died. Mm. Yep. Well, do you think. What do you think the wildlings will do? They're not going to follow Stannis. <clears throat> they need. There's a power vacuum. I'm sticking with my. <laughs> sticking with my Jon Snow should, should court them. <clears throat> Become king of. The wildlings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we had a statue being torn down, and then a short scene afterwards where a unsullied went to a brothel mm -hmm. and was spending time with a whore. Yep, he was a regular. Sure, for the affection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For to, snuggles. To silence the screams, probably. <laughs> Oh. They've had a pretty terrible life. They have. <laughs> they definitely have. 
Um, he's killed by a, a son of the harpies. Yes. And that was a harpy that they tore down. Mm-hmm. So, interesting that they have harpies and manticores, even though it's a fantasy universe. <laughs> They have dragons. That's true. Undead. What do you mean? It's funny they have it even though. <laughs> like, those aren't, those are typically found in fantasy sort of. Sure. I just, I was thinking like, harpies are Greek um, and Roman, and yet she does not appreciate the point of a, pu- a fighting pit. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why she was tearing down the, the harpy statue. Because she wanted to end that kind of culture. Sure. She wanted to change the the traditions and the people. Nope. You gotta... How's a fighting pit? I mean, aside from making people do it, if they do it voluntarily as a job, then it's like <laughs> Knights that would go around and fight in tournaments. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's how most of the Roman gladiators were. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. They were they rock got, stars. They got to a certain point in which they <laughs> made enough money to to buy themselves back or make their masters enough money to, you know, yeah. do whatever. Buy a bunch of more slaves. <laughs> and the cycle continues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they just, yeah, it was just, it was like pro football. Back then, it's what, just what you watched. <gasps> just, I mean, it's, watching sports. <laughs> it's kind of in like a very generalized term of what like modern sports has become, especially. Well, and it wasn't well, nearly football. And stuff it wasn't like nearly as deadly as people think. Yeah, um, because like these were well-trained people. Yeah, like the people they were professionals. Who owned them didn't well, want the them dying. Were. Yeah, because it's, they're it's like pro wrestling. Like <laughs> they don't actually want to get injured. Yeah, so I mean, you know, they had all their bloodshed with the and prisoners are good and everything. With having a pretty good show. Yeah, yeah. but as far as like the actual paid professionals, they didn't die very often. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody should make a movie, a parody movie, of the gladiator. And frame it within WWE terms. Yeah. <laughs> That'll get there. With obnoxious signs that people have and, and yeah. Should it be like a Mel Brooks production or what? This is awesome. <laughs> <That would work. laughs> this is awesome. They should all have their own songs. <laughs> John Cena sucks. That'd be great. It'd- uh, it probably was, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure it was yeah. very raucous and oh you know, yeah, there were chants and everything mm-hmm. else. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we have chants nowadays. <laughs> it's because <laughs> it's so easy for us to do. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's a way cheerleaders, for people to be involved, show their support. All right, Stannis wants the wildlings, which I'm not happy about, but it's logical. Yeah, he's been desperate for an army for a long time. Mm. That's why he went to the Iron Bank. Yeah, and got a bunch of money from them so he could try to defeat. I mean, the Lannisters. If but you're Caesar and you kill Varys and Jedrix, you get the Gauls in the army. It's just the way it works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and he he bought a decent army of a certain size, and then if he can reinvest that and get a bunch more army, sure. that's just. Yeah. That's a sound decision, and I bet part of it was Davos. <laughs> and, I mean, you know, they're not fighting, you know, they're fighting his war, but they're fighting for their land and their freedom yeah, as well. Yeah, survival, yeah. So, it's not like... It's not an unreasonable proposition for him to make. No, it isn't. From his point of view. And he's being very generous in this. Except like for the any whole other putting Southern people Lord on would, fire. Well... Just kill him. Yes, but also he needs them. Yeah. If he didn't need them, he might be a little less generous. Yeah. He's um, very bold, I'll give him that. But he's so desperate. You can just, he stinks of it. Yeah. And then he was going to burn yet another person. Yep. Well, he did. He, just, he did. Yeah. He just didn't burn them <laughs> to death. Yeah. Melisandre he cremated didn't get them. to hear the screams. Yeah. So she's not going to have a good night's sleep tonight. No. <laughs> he just built an a, an standing funeral pyre. Yep. Which is good, because I'm sure if you'd have asked Mance, like, 
you're going to be dead. What should we do with your body? Burn it. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't he didn't yeah, cry out freedom at the end. It's <laughs> <laughs> or, um, Still not a good way to go. What did What did Joan of Arc do while she was being burned alive? Did she say anything? Uh, I don't remember. Shit. Did they actually burn her? Oh yes. Yes. <clears throat> Famously. Oh yes. <clears throat> Didn't help. French still won. Wasn't that the something bastards. Like <laughs> Was it something like victory or death or something like that? I, I Vive la France! <laughs> <laughs> Vive la Revolution! <laughs> Danny needs to take some hints from Genghis Khan and Alexander the Great and incorporate, like, you know, keep the culture of the lands you conquer, but just incorporate your, like, legal system and yeah. things like that. Yeah. It's it's their systems, but your branding. Yeah, exactly. Synergy. She needs to understand synergy. <laughs> she needs synergy. Tyrion. She does. She needs him bad. Desperately. And man, Varys would be so much help. Varys, yes. Yes. She's about to like, get her support class and go to another level. She just needs to grow a spine to deal with her dragons. Mm-hmm. Well, she, needs, she needs to. She should have been ranking in in animal husbandry, animal husbandry yeah. or, or wifery. Should have been like mothery. What do you think? Like, what in her spirit lost her the control? Like, was there something that's happened to her character that makes her doubt herself? Hmm. Because pretty much it's all been smooth sailing until now when she's trying to rule. I guess. Well. Uh, a conqueror is not a ruler. At which point she became a ruler, she wasn't a conqueror anymore. And she, well, she still has she lost that. She's, she's still has all the conquerors. Yeah, but she chose, instead of going to Westeros with the great army and many ships that she had, yeah. to practice at ruling so that when she got to Westeros, she would be a good ruler. At that point it's is when plan. she lost control of her dragons. Yeah. She wasn't spending time with them or her armies. She was up in her pyramid presiding over the city that was kind of falling apart. Well, and she hasn't had doubt for a while. She's always been very confident. Um, but now she's in a world she doesn't understand. Mm hmm. And trying to enforce her own rules on it. Right. Yeah. And she's missing, you know, one of her key advisors. Yeah. Who always had good advice. He did. And could talk her around once she'd made up her mind, which is... Unique. Not a talent that <laughs> many of the other <laughs> shares. <laughs> not her lover can do it. Yeah. Except... Except all of his advice generally got reversed by the good advisor that just <laughs> left. <laughs> so... Well, <laughs> <it> was banished. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm sure he didn't actually go banish himself. He's probably, like, right on the other side, and he's checking his email all the time. Right he, on the other side of the wall. Yeah, yeah. He, he's gone like, to the three-eyed raven. <laughs> like, hey, I need to borrow the looking class. <laughs> Apparently, it is not a toy. <laughs> What's, what are her dragon's names? Because I've been listening for the names. I knew the, the black one was like Draco or Drag, Drago or Drogo. Drogo. And I assume that's because of... Called Drogo. Right. And then now the other ones are like... Viserion. Vis Viserion. Mm -hmm. For her brother Viserys. And then... Rhaegal for her other brother Rhaegon. Sweet. Actually, is it Rhaegon? Yeah. Rhaegon. Okay. Rhaegon. Ray. Again. <laughs> Get it right. He'll 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 be a laser dragon. And he'll make Buck Rogers sounds when he <laughs> pew, pew pew pew. And um there was the funeral. Yes. As well. Oh right. <laughs> right. The creepy, creepy eye rocks. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I'm surprised they didn't... It was the loveliest outfit Charles Dance got to wear in the entire series. Yeah. No. And Fabulous. he just had to lay there. It was a Ric Flair robe. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Almost. Not quite as good as a Ric Flair robe. No, but nothing could be. They're not going to spend that kind of money. Oh, <laughs> they oh. have to animate dragons. Cersei is, is uh, Charlotte Flair, isn't she? <laughs> she's a bad guy that you love to hate <laughs> and she's so good ah, uh, yeah okay so Cersei equals so her cousin has found the light <laughs> a lot of Lancel. Reli- this, is, this is the first episode of the series and there's been a lot of religious nonsense going on yeah if you remember Lancel was uh the one who was with Robert yes. on the board. Yeah. He had the long hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was the one that she took to her quarters when Jamie was imprisoned yeah. with the Starks. Yes. So I'm wondering if what's part of his religion involves confession. And now other people know. If Ooh. Whoever the the Sparrow Lord is. Yeah. Well, she certainly didn't Saris. seem like she was happy no, when he uh, mentioned Varys. it. No, but she also... Didn't kill him by the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> so her her how many a mistake. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, that's true. So because yeah, I mean she, she was all into Jamie about like you're the reason it's all going downhill, but she's the one making all the mistakes. Mm-hmm. Well, she's been doing <laughs> everything in her power to just <clears throat> grasp control. That's. You know, the tighter you squeeze, the more systems slip through your fingers, Lord Vader. Yeah. It's like that. Well, in, like, Varys and Baelish have talked with Little each finger. other before. Yeah. Lord Baelish. Peter. <clears throat> um, Peter. Peter. Uh, it's easy to control people once you know what they want. And boy! Dangle it Everybody knows what she wants. Yeah. No, that's true. Her very her children. Clear. She wants to take care of her children in her own way. Yep. And at this point, like, Jamie is just another weapon to be wielded. We're I don't make think more there's children. anything. <laughs> well, she certainly doesn't have anything to hide, right? Mm. What do you mean? If she had another child? Yeah. Well, she's not married. She doesn't have to be. Make another child with Jamie. Yeah, but what? Yeah, but there's her, like... But, but, I mean, people would ask questions, and that would question the legitimacy of Tommen. <gasps> what if she's already pregnant? would endanger Tommen. Yeah. And she wouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of an <laughs> empty threat. Well, she was, Tywin, she was threatening to, to take the entire family down, not just him. Yeah, but that would have put Tommen in a lot of danger. It would have put everyone in a lot of danger. It was literally, like... It's literally I will kill the nuclear everybody. Option. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a self-destruct. Yeah, it's literally the, the nuclear <laughs> The nuclear option family to, option. <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> Not really a nuclear family, though, really. That's mm. The Simpsons. Yeah. The perfect American family. Was <laughs> <laughs> uh, there anything else? I feel like there was one other thing. Well, we had a, uh, um, a memory in the beginning. Oh, oh the witch. Mm-hmm. Sure. Gold shrouds. Um, Everything else, we kind of know what that pertains to. Yeah, if you notice in the in the opening, like she was wearing red. She had her hair done and everything, but she was also wearing. Definitely. Yeah. It was, it was yeah, they meant, necklace. They meant Definitely, for that yeah. to happen. And, um, yeah, I mean, obviously Marjorie is the, the younger that's going to take away all of her power. Um, but, yes, I guess it's just a question of how all her kids die. And I think if she gets fi- found out about the incestual nature well, that will take of care the children, of Tommen. that will probably get the kids killed. Mm. Well, if they keep having sex at every family member's wedding... Well, they, Although they didn't really have sex at Dad's wedding. Not, not this one. No. There's still time. He's not on the ground yet. 
but you mean funeral. Funeral. Yes. You said wedding. Weddings, funerals. Same thing. Calvin's kind of the same thing. <laughs> Have you ever noticed? Two people have sex. <laughs> <laughs> and it's usually the same two. And people die. <laughs> have you ever gotten the red wedding already? Yeah. Ooh, people die at weddings forget. and they make babies at funerals. It's very bad. Man, this world this is man. fucked up. Varys is right. <laughs> He's the only one that, like, is like, I'm in a book. And this guy's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, we really need to get to the happy ending or everyone's going to die. <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, in a, you know, I need to RPG hang out with the most interesting like character that. that the writer likes writing that way. <laughs> it's like an RPG some... game where you make a save before you make an important decision that might have dire consequences later in game. <laughs> it's like, mm. shit, I didn't want this to happen. <laughs> and then you go back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like a... Varys is a, like a time traveler. He's like yeah. Bill Murray from Groundhog Day. <laughs> and he's just trying to play through the whole thing until it he's, all works out. This is his... It's all a big achievement run. And this is his... <laughs> That's why he's trying to figure out why he asked Tyrion, what did you do? <laughs> he wants to figure out yeah. what series of events is and this causing. <laughs> I clicked through the cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> I need the good ending. <sighs> no White Walkers. Still not winner. No. Nope. Season five. <laughs> <laughs> I guess all they promised was winter is coming. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah. Never has to actually get here. Nope. We did not get an update on... Oh, we saw... Oh, yeah. So, we need an Aura. update on the mountain. Arya. Uh, uh, what's his name? The Hound? Other Stark. Oh, Bran. <laughs> Other Stark. Well, we're running out. <sighs> <clears throat> we got an update on Sansa, which is pretty much, hmm. uh, they were making, what's his name, make funny sounds while getting hit with a stick. Robin. That's great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd not make Robin. a good Sansa, because I'd be sitting there going. <clears throat> I can't work miracles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one poor guy is like yelling at him, but also like trying to be respectful. It's like. Keep your shield up, my lord! <laughs> Attack, my lord! <laughs> As opposed to Jon Snow, who was like, please keep your shield up. Yeah. You yeah. killed the love of my life, but... Keep your shield up. Keep your shield up. Or I'll ring your noggin. <laughs> or I'll rustle this hair. Yeah. Keep your fucking the shield up! <laughs> Every Make fifth me. blow is real. <laughs> So he like swings as hard as he can until right at the end, and then he like <gasps> pulls back. <laughs> it's a child. <laughs> and Tormund. Yep, he's still in. He's, shackles he's still at Castle a, Black. Yeah, but he's still a guy. <clears throat> he's still there. No, he had to yeah. watch Mance die, but but he saw that John yep. spared him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they might follow John so, into battle. Like John could be the. The commander of that contingency mm -hmm. to guard the wall against the White Walkers. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a think... heck of a lot of uh, Actually, knightsmen. I Knight. wonder if, do the wildlings know about Dragonglass and that it kills the White Walkers? I don't know. Probably all they would have would be oral tradition. Yeah. Because they found the Dragonglass on that side of the wall. Yeah, but it was buried. No, it, it was, was buried. In a secret cache. Mm. But, I mean, the they've dealt the more men. with the White Walkers than anyone else as well. Yeah, but... But where would they get Dragonglass? Hmm. <laughs> well, the Lannister's castle is made of it. <laughs> huh? Hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's true. We haven't gotten an update on the uh, the, the the squid people. <laughs> the squid people? All oh, the Greyjoys? Yes. <laughs> I had to think. <laughs> I thought you meant Spl the, the new character in Splatoon that's going to be in Smash. 
I'm very excited uh, about the new Smash. And along with the Greyjoys, the uh, the Flayed Men makers. Boltons. The uh, Bolton? Mance. <laughs> Mance. Mance Raiders. Mance. <laughs> Mance's Raiders. <laughs> So those are all the people we haven't gotten an update on in the previous, in well, either the last one or two episodes. Don't forget about pot pie. Hot pie? Hot pie. Hot pie. He doesn't pot pie. He doesn't pot pot make pies. pot pies. Doesn't, his name is not what he is. If you walked into that inn and you shouted pot pie, I bet he would be like, yes, I have one. <laughs> He'd tell you all about how he made it. Yeah. And he'd probably stand there and watch you eat it. He'd be like, every time you ate a bite. It's good for people to, to find their... Their calling. Yes. Yeah. It's very good. It's very, it's very good. good when they find their calling. He's got the happiest fate so far. Yeah. It's good when people find their calling outside of a, of a fantasy show as well. You mean Charles Dance playing Lord Vetinari? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Hot Pie actually opening a bakery. That's true. Wow. Didn't the super Nazi open up a soup shop? From Seinfeld? Yes. Yeah. I think he did. No soup for you! No soup for you. Where he doesn't have to sell soup. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> That's what he gets to do all day. All day. Because there's no expenses, because he doesn't have to make any soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... Like a drawing, <laughs> you know, or something. Yeah. Good stuff. No, wait, not Bran. Braun. I hope Tyrion. No. I hope Tyrion keeps growing that beard, and it like just goes mm. down to his knees, like a dwarf. It looks so wizen. It'd be great. He should grow out too. Yeah. It'd be like a big. <laughs> like his beard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> out but long. Mm-hmm. Yes. I approve. Brawn, Hound. All the people that didn't die on screen, but I don't expect to get an update on. I don't see Brawn returning. So you should put a... Uh, <clears throat> Gendry? Um, Gendry. Right. Gendry, he should go on there. <laughs> as well as uh, Jora. Didn't get an update from him. Oh, yeah. I, I do think we're going to hear more from Jora. So he's going in that list. Oh, okay. so. He's good. He was useful. He was? Mm-hmm. I do want to see what... <laughs> <laughs> he's big and green. <laughs> <laughs> Just Lou Ferrigno out. It'd be great. Oh. Like the Hulk versus the dragons? <laughs> oh man, that'd be all right. Yeah. That's basically Hulk versus the, uh, oh shoot, what is in the first Avengers movie? Oh, this uh, giant, that giant worm thing? Yeah. Worm, yeah. <laughs> worms, worms. Worms. Yeah. Worverns. <laughs> Werverns. Werverns. <laughs> like worm worms. Like, like werewolves. <laughs> werewolves. <laughs> Oh, um, no, I wrote Brand down. Never mind. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Yep. Is that it? That's it. All right. I'll think of something really good to bring up. Ten minutes home. after you leave. Yes. Yep. That's okay. usually how it works. If I can leave. Make a note. About what? In the car, so you don't forget it. I didn't forget the last one. I know, but there was one one time where you've got it. Not while she's driving, Calvin. It's like, Pull over. Oh, the thing. A, I've got to do the... Ah! Thanks for watching this episode of Game of Thrones. Join us next week when we hear Rick say... I can't believe Tyrion is riding a dragon. Whoa, it's crazy. He's a natural dragon tamer. Check out next week's episode on YouTube or right now on Patreon as well as full length.